Hey guys, I'm out here in my shop today doing a little R&D testing on my new and improved steering pump dyno. And I had a quick little experiment that I wanted to show you that's uh, pretty cool related to the reservoir pressure and its effect on steering pump noise. Now, I've done some videos in the past showing how having a pressurized reservoir reduces cavitation in the feed hose and ultimately in the steering pump. So I do recommend having a pressurized reservoir to reduce that effect. But before I get into the demo, I do want to caution that there is such thing as too much pressure. Above 20 PSI or so, there's risk of uh, causing damage to the shaft seal in a steering pump. So I strongly discourage sealing your reservoir completely uh, by plugging a vent hole or putting on a solid cap because then you have no control over just how much pressure can build up. In this case, I'm going to be using this small uh, cooling system tester in order to build 0 to 10 PSI in my Vortex Reservoir. And that is feeding a large displacement high flow steering pump, which is being driven by a high speed hydraulic motor. Um, I'm going to set up a microphone on this stand over here and we're going to be listening to changes in the tone of the pump as the reservoir pressure changes. At 0 PSI there's going to be a little bit of cavitation within the feed hose and within the pump and we're going to be able to hear that versus at 10 PSI that noise is going to go away. Now there is going to be a, uh, a regular noise that's coming from the pump and the motor itself uh, because all hydraulic motors do produce noise, especially at high RPM, but we're really going to be listening for that change in tone, which is going to be indicative of cavitation. Here is 10 PSI reservoir pressure. 